Dennis Dodd put out an article at CBS Sports titled, Big 12 readies to pounce on four corner schools as doubt creeps in about Pac-12's viability. Now, I highly recommend that you read this. The link is in the description on it. Uh, there is a lot going on here. It opens up talking about all the ways that Brett Yormark, the Big 12 commissioner, has tried to spruce up this week's Big 12 conference tournament uh, for basketball and the ways that they're attempting to boost the entertainment aspect of Big 12 basketball. Uh, now, this article has a Big 12 slant on all of it, and you can tell the sources are from that side of things, but uh, after it talks about the Big 12 entertainment, etc., the article dives into expansion realignment, the Pac-12, even, even the Big 10. So let's try to quickly hit on a few of these, right? First, you've got this blurb. Uh, Big 12 sources were waiting anxiously to hear the results of a Colorado Board of Regents meeting held to discuss the program's future in the Pac-12. The CU Regents met in a special session, according to multiple reports. It may only take one of the four corner schools to bolt from the Pac-12 for the other three to follow, Big 12 sources say. Now, first off, your sources, if they... Why are they waiting to hear what's going to come out of this Board of Regents meeting? Like, do you, are, who, are, who are you exactly talking to? Like, there's a part of this article that says that the Big 12 is in contact weekly with these schools. If you're in contact with these schools, why would you need to wait on what they have to say? Like, you should already know what they're going to say in, this meeting, uh, in these meetings. Excuse me. Um, it, it moves on. Kansas coach Bill Self and Kansas State coach Jerome Tang talked about wanting to get Arizona into the Big 12 for basketball. Uh, Tang referenced all four corner schools as being a natural fit for the Big 12. Uh, and I know where you're going here. Like, wait, like, Gary, wh where exactly are you going with all this stuff? Uh, but we continue on with this blurb from Dodd, right? Three high-ranking industry sources in the last week told CBS Sports they believe your mark is going to be successful in luring at least some combination of four corner schools. Some went farther speculating the Pac-12 was a couple of weeks away from dissolving, uh, quote, the dam breaking, in a sense, one source said. Now, my first thought on this, like, who are the high-ranking industry sources? Like, are we talking ESPN or Fox execs, or are these big 12 guys that are just towing the company line? I think that would make a huge difference in how realistic this looks. Uh, if ESPN and Fox think this is about to fall apart, that's obviously not a good thing for the Pac-12. Uh, but the article continues. It goes on to discuss Oregon and Washington, who would uh, possibly be left in no man's land if the four corner schools leave while Oregon and Washington still don't have Big Ten invites. Now, from the article, it says, the future of the Ducks and Huskies as members of the Pac-12 may be tied to outgoing Big Ten commissioner Kevin Warren. There are indications at least one Big Ten media rights holder won't engage in expansion talks until Warren officially leaves the conference for the Chicago Bears on April 17th. That could create an awkward transition for the Pac-12 schools if they have eyes on the Big Ten. Now, I will go ahead and tell you this. There is a current Fox executive that is in the running to be the new Big Ten commissioner. Now, I'm not shocked it's taken this long to come up with a new commissioner. Uh, the schools certainly want to make sure that they've got the right person for the job, right? But why would you need a new commissioner before you decide to vote in new schools? Well, it continues on uh, in the article there. It says, the belief is there, uh, excuse me, the belief is there will be clarity about the Pac-12's future long before April 17th. And, and I'll, I'll go on and add this in there. God, I hope so. If, if we're still talking about this crap on April 17th, <laughs> I mean, good Lord. Uh, anyway, it continues. It said, what will happen to Oregon and Washington if they are in a sort of purgatory awaiting their conference fate? They were near the top of Warren's list as he pushed the Big Ten for further expansion after the conference finalized this new media rights deal in August. Back then, Big Ten athletic directors and presidents were against such a move that would have included Stanford and California. Now, without Warren being around to push for those schools, it may work out to their advantage eventually. It says the Big Ten has yet to announce Warren's replacement. Now, this is a bit of a bombshell, right? Like, Warren leaving the Big Ten could actually help Oregon and Washington because Kevin Warren didn't, like, the Big Ten didn't want Stanford and Cal, but Warren wanted all four of them? Am I reading this right? Like, what computer simulation are we living in right now? Like, maybe you guys can create it. Toss it in the comments. I, I want to know what your thoughts are on this. Um, but the article then goes on to talk about whether or not the Pac-12's uh, CEO authorizing expand, or excuse me, the Pac-12 CEO's 
authorizing expansion by as many as four teams. You know, we talked about that last week uh, with Colorado State being a possibility along with SMU, San Diego State, maybe Fresno. It's a, I mean, who knows? Um, but uh, it, it talks in here about it being either more about expansion or just backfilling when some of the current members decide to leave. Uh, it said, in other words, the likes of Colorado State and Fresno State wouldn't be expanding the Pac-12. They would be keeping it upright. It then continues on. It says, the Pac-12 cannot suffer the loss of even two teams and remain a viable Power 5 conference, veteran media consult uh, Neil Pilsen told CBS Sports recently. He said, I don't think they can afford to lose even two more schools. I think if they end up back as the Pac-8 or Pac-10, it will not be good, Pilsen said. All right, so first off, let's go on and get this out of here. The Pac-12 is not a power conference going forward, regardless of what happens here. Like, there is no more Power 5. It's a Power 2, a Middle 3, and the Group of 5, with the AAC being the highest on the totem pole of those bottom five there. The AAC is closer to the Pac-12, Big 12, and ACC uh, than those three leagues are to the SEC and the Big 10. But I digress. Would the Pac-12 just dissolve if there's only six schools left, or would those six schools like move to the Mountain West? Would the Mountain West just morph into the Pac-12? Would... Would schools like Nevada, New Mexico, et cetera, just eventually fade away or join Conference USA? Like, there is so much to break down with this. Uh, and I, I honestly don't have time to do it right now. If there are still questions after I get back from vacation, I may have to do a deep dive on it. But this is really nuts to think about. Uh, the Pac-12 sources swear that everything's good. The media deal is going to get done. Everybody's staying together. But, man, there are so many other voices out there saying the opposite. And I don't think that the Big 12 has that many allies. Like, why would all these different sources spin this narrative if there wasn't some kind of truth to it, right? A, a lot can obviously change from day to day, so who knows what ends up happening. I tend to believe that somebody is going to leave the Pac-12 pretty soon. When they do, as George, uh, John Oran said, all hell is going to break loose. I, I'm just, I don't know when it's going to happen, but man, it just feels like it is. Psst. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.